If you're looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They got 24-7 support. They're super awesome to work with. Guys, skip the packs, save some money, head over to MuttReserve.com, and use code POOL for 50% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden 21 Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going over the best chems and abilities in Madden 21 that you want to be putting on your players. That applies to, uh, of course, physical chems, defensive team chems, offensive team chems, and, of course, abilities. I didn't really go over X Factors too much here, but that's because I feel like abilities matter more just because those affect every down. X Factors are here and there kind of stuff, and more or less, you know what the overpowered ones are. I may touch on them as they uh, pop up in the video, of course, but for the most part, I will be focusing on Kempton abilities. Now, I feel like this video is important. I will be dropping the video going over how to or how to use all these, but for this video, it's going to be going over the ones I, I prefer using for myself. Now, I did take all the abilities off Lamar uh, just because I needed the training back for a gameplay, so I don't think that like, I have no abilities on them. I took everything off. Of all my players to get the training back up for now on so i decide what i want to like what player i'm powering up i want to use it to power up first then go through abilities of course you know you don't want to just get one guy with all abilities and have no power to players but guys before we get into the video make sure you're down below hit that subscribe button turn that on bubble enjoy the family make sure you give this video a big thumbs up as always if you haven't already go down below comment and let me know what your favorite abilities and chems are so far in madden 21 now let's get into this guys so we're gonna start off with lamar typically i put on my i put most of my abilities on quarterbacks running backs wide receivers I will go over most of the things that I really think are necessary. So for quarterback specifically right now is where I'm going to start. But in terms of, uh, let's start with abilities instead of the chem because I can go over that with anyone right now. So for abilities, one of the best abilities I think you really want right now in Madden 21 that I think is like really important. Now remember the first spot, the second spot, and the third spot all can get, like they all progressively get better. So this is the worst spot, second best, and then best. So let's start over here. So here's the thing. In terms of quarterbacks, one of my favorite abilities for this year that you guys really want to be looking into is going to be the quick draw ability. Now I've been doing a lot of testing with this. A lot of the testing I've done for abilities hasn't exactly been in mud. I've been doing with reg teams so I can get a feel for every ability, regardless of what we can actually get in mud. Now, quick draw, Kyler Murray has it on regs. I'm playing with the Cardinals. Guys, quick draw, like, imagine when you're you're literally getting sacked. Like, you're running out of the pocket. You have two guys on you. And literally, the only thing you can really do is force a pass and most likely throw a duck or go ahead and throw the ball to bounce. But you press a button on the run, and because you can throw on the run this year a lot better, the ball's going to be accurate, and you're able to get it off like, like that. It just flies. Quick draw allows you to get really fast throwing animations, and they're accurate too. I think it's super good. It's really good with being able to stay in the pocket. It, it prevents you from wanting to run so much also because you feel like, okay, if, I, if my guy's about to get open, I will get that pass off. Versus last year, you get stuck in that big wind. You know when you're on the run last year and you go like, you'd stand still and you'd wind up the whole way? That's avoided with this, which is kind of gets rid of something that used to really piss people off, which is why I really like it. And then moving on over to... Another one, of course, Dashing Deadeye is still a good ability now. Again, with quick draw and with good throw on the run this year, it's not as necessary as it was in prior in the prior year. But still, of course, Dashing Deadeye is still overpowered. Oh, every throw is going to be perfect accuracy as long as you throw same side of the body. You don't throw across your body. So it's still going to be super accurate. So you really can't discount Dashing Deadeye. Of course, Escape Artist is another great one. So for quarterbacks, those are the ones I'm really looking at now. The thing with Escape Artist this year, though, is that like they can run this year regardless of having Escape Artist. So it is 3 AP. So what I would do for you guys, go play a few games with and without it. My personal opinion is they can still run without it. So if you need the AP in other places, it's fine. But if you want the guaranteed scramble, get away from everyone kind of thing, definitely need escape artist for guaranteed every time. Doesn't mean you can't run anyways. Doesn't mean you necessarily need it. So it really comes down to whether or not you feel as though you can afford that 3 AP or you want to use it elsewhere. For me, I think I may stray from it, but I think it's still one of the best abilities that you're going to want in a quarterback. Especially, it's going to be good with quarterbacks of lower speed, like let's say a Josh Allen that maybe can get escape artist, but his speed's only like an 83, or Steve Young. But with a guy like Lamar, it may not be as necessary, which is how it's supposed to be, uh, quite honestly. And then for X Factor, like I said, I'm not going to really go on it, but Bazooka is probably my favorite one, and maybe Omaha. Omaha shows defensive coverage on defensive backs. And, true, and Bazooka is just overpowered. You get plus 15 yards, trust me. When you're burning someone by like by like a yard and then you throw the ball. And by the time the ball gets to where they are, the guy's already way burnt him. Really helps with separation. I really do like that one. In terms of wide receivers, uh, I think reach for it is good for anyone. This is great. Okay, reach for it is good for wide receiver. I prefer it on a running back, but I have Andre Johnson, so I'm going to show it here. Reach for it is a super, super good ability. Now, the beauty of this is it's kind of very realistic to real life. Like, you know, like, and especially in Madden, because the issue with Madden is in past years, you could be right at the goal line. You're like, you'll be getting a pick or you're getting chased up from behind and you fall at the one. In real life, you get shoot some tackle from behind at the one, touchdown, you're going like this, over. Or you're running up the gut, you see the lane, touchdown. Doesn't matter if you fumble afterwards. In Madden, they hold it perfectly, like hawk, 
hooked just like that the whole time so you can fall inches short when your whole head and body was in there it's always been very annoying that they couldn't reach for it so now this and this ability makes it even better so i really do like the reach for ability in my opinion i think that's a great one um slot matic is super good which is good on catching um better cuts and catching on short slot routes which are really good for just destroying man coverage destroying just about any kind of coverage to be quite honest with you guys and then of course there's um apprentice which is over here outside apprentice or slot apprentice all those pretty much and wide receiver apprentice allow you to get extra wide receiver and hot routes extra hot routes at wide receiver now if you have hot route master in your quarterback you don't necessarily need it but again it does give you access to some other things as well so it is very very useful regardless of if you have hot route master or not now for running backs as well another great ability is going to of course be um like evasive evasive is kind of different this year but it's still super super good so you're gonna definitely want that and that pretty much covers all my offensive abilities, right? So I, those are the ones I really, really like. And then defensively is going to be a little bit different, but we'll get into that right now. Defensively in the secondary, I do like the KO abilities, like deep route and the uh, short route, medium route KO. They pretty much just improve knockouts and man versus deep routes. So like when they're man on man locked up and the catch comes in, it's going to be great at knocking the ball loose. It's pretty much like you're just a receiver that just causes issues all game with the uh, wide receiver and this stuff. Um, Acrobat's always been super good. I'm not entirely sure. I've never done a lot of testing with how it works this year, but diving stuff, you don't typically get diving picks, but I do notice you're way more athletic and acrobatic in terms of just getting stops on the ball, getting your hands on the ball when you have to dive for stuff as well. And then of course, uh, Lurker is always a good one if you put it on like your linebacker, which again, I wouldn't put it on a uh, cornerback unless you use your cornerback, but it's still really good regardless. Film study shows offensive play after repeated play calls. I believe they did nerf that one though. And enforcer, guys, if you if you can get enforcer on anyone, you typically do want enforcer on someone. And then in terms of ends, guys, ends is just one th edge threat. You want edge threat on your ends no matter what. That is exactly what you're gonna want. Edge threat. What sucks right now, in Madden though, is that a, you don't get a lot of pass rush right now unless you have edge threat. So those guys like Doomerville, Adelius Thomas, and those guys powered up do get edge threat. The new Miles Garrett coming out on Friday will probably get edge threat. You're going to need that ability to be able to go ahead and actually get consistent, consistent pass rush. So that one's super overpowered. So defensively, my two favorites are probably edge threat and the uh, the, the, the KOs, the mid, uh, deep, middle, medium route, and short route KO. Those are probably my favorite ones overall. And then, of course, edge threat. And then offensively, my favorite ones are going to be, I love quick draw and reach for it. Those are two of my favorite ones right now. Quick draw, I'm telling you, it's just you, you notice it very fast that you're going to be able to make a lot of throws that people think they have you sacked on. And the best part about when people think they have you sacked, they sometimes slump off of covers. Like when you're being usered and there's space in the pocket, they're usering like hell. When they're about to get a sack, they might even switch on for the sack. Which will, while, so while you're running away to switch on for the sack, your quick draw is still going to still get that pass off. And they, they, they let go of the user. But now let's go cover some chems real quick. Starting off on the defensive side of the ball with chems. Of course, the team chems are irrelevant here. You know, just pick the team that uh, they applies to your team. So when it comes to chemistries right now, my personal thing is using, I'm going to use lockdown. Now, lockdown does improve the zone, the man, and the, uh, the catching, the press, and just about everything you're going to need at a cornerback slot. Now, if you guys get this all the way up, you can get up to, let's see, plus one zone, plus two zone, plus three zone, plus four zone, plus five zone, guys. You understand how much that is? Turn a quarterback from a mid-80s to a mid-90s, from a mid-90s to a high-90s. You can turn a quarterback locked down with this. This ability is overpowered, and right now, like I said, pass rush really only seems to be great if you have edge threat. So right now, I would focus on lockdown. Get the 90 th uh, threshold for zone, 90 threshold for press, 90 threshold for man, and be able to go ahead and lock people up with the thresholds, especially because you really just notice those zone thresholds and those mans. You notice them a lot when you get them a cornerback specifically, which is why I always make sure I have those thresholds. And then if you do have enough to get, you know, dual team and backups, pass rush is always my second one. So usually I go pass rush and I go lockdown. If you're a balanced guy, you can go that, but I'm going to stick with pass rush and lockdown for this year. Now check out the offensive. Offensively, guys, the chems here. So I'm going to start with the offensive ones right over here. We got... Let's see. For me, there's really two again here. There's zone run for running. I'm never really a fan of power running. I always prefer to have the extra juke and the extra other stuff to hit some thresholds and stuff. And then there's, of course, uh, the passing ones. Now, for passing, Go Deep or West Coast is usually my go-to. Now, I'm going to stick with Go Deep this year because I have noticed that this year, deep route running is super important to get certain uh, burns, to be cover threes, to be cover twos, cover, cover, coverage beaters in general. Deep route running high above 90 does help. You also get the extra throw power, which is really good early in the year. Late in the year, it doesn't matter as much. Everyone has good throw power. But right now, that extra throw power, you can get up to, let's see, one, uh, two, three, four, and I believe five. No, you get you have four. So plus four throw power could be huge on a guy who has 88 to 92, 91 to 95. So that throw power is going to be a big difference. And you really notice it early in the year when cornerbacks and defenders are just slower in general. You really notice the difference of like whip on that ball, how fast it gets out there. Um, 
I really do love go deep now again it's gonna be much harder this year to max them out but you also get more rewards so it's not like it's almost as if if you want last year's benefits you get 25 if you want the full full range of everything you get double but then you don't get two cams on offense so instead of zone run and pass uh zone run and go deep you do a whole front offense and go deep which makes more sense when you really think about it because it's not people may think that it's just longer this year but it's really not it's just that you're going to be able to get more which i guess is where john madden kind of starts to benefit you and stuff and then for the physical chems guys uh here's the thing so last year was between shaker and sprinter for a lot of people now the thing with sprinter is that you do lose uh agility strength and you lose some change of direction as you go which does hurt and then shaker you don't lose all that you only lose jumping and strength but the issue and you get change of direction but the issue is you only get plus one speed so it comes down to you would you rather the speed now last year many people started with shaker and then towards the end of the year we kind of realized we just prefer the speed so it really depends on your change of direction and later in the year sprinter will probably be better anyways because everyone will have really high change of direction so you won't notice it as much but right now with the minimal change of direction maybe you want to get the maximum but for me stick with sprinter shaker last year and at the end of the year i ended up switching back to sprinter anyways i prefer the plus two speed i feel like i noticed that way more than i noticed any of the other things to be quite honest with you guys but that is better for the video guys i hope you did enjoy if you are new to the channel make sure you're down below hit the subscribe button turn that on bell boys if you join the family make sure you give this video a big thumbs up as always and guys if you need coins pick up any of these abilities these chems these physical chems and anything else make sure you're down below to muttreserve.com use code pool at checkout for 50 off guys that's about it i'm out peace